Long, barren stretches of roads, planes speeding over crops dropping fertilizer, and smoke being blown across highways from controlled burns. The Mississippi Delta is the poorest part of the poorest state in America from an economical standpoint. This is a part of America almost never seen, where swamps surround the mighty Mississippi River, buildings in ruin, yet art decorates the destruction. This region, where the blues was born, is by nature a crossroads of contrast, otherwise known as the Mississippi Delta. Dr. Leanne Bird and her staff have been on the front lines of the pandemic since March, and the situation is not getting better. Mississippi Delta is number one in multiple chronic disease processes and poverty, uh, which I think makes the people in the Delta uh, more prone to, to COVID. Uh, this makes the unemployment rate even higher. Uh, businesses closing, um, which makes the Delta uh, struggle even more. This is the harsh reality in so many places up and down the Mississippi Delta, buildings that are in ruin, the roofs completely gone. There was a business here at one point, but the Delta has between 30 and 40 percent unemployment. That's the average, and that was before COVID-19. Many people here don't believe that any sort of new president or even potentially Donald Trump staying in office will help their situation. Scotty Meredith runs the funeral home in Clarksdale, Mississippi. Business has been busy and the upcoming presidential election is weighing on everyone. Our, our community is, is Democrat. Um, if Biden was to win the election, I could see him doing more for our area than Mr. Trump. And I want a cleaner town. I would like to have uh, a stronger law enforcement. I'd like to have better morale in our police department. Um, we need uh, we need to come together. This needs to be a community of one. 40 miles to the south of Clarksdale is Cleveland, another town where the streets are empty, but the American flags fly high. Maddie Bengloff and his wife Suzette Matthews own an ice cream shop and are doing takeout to survive. But their biggest concern right now is the health care system here. They've been defunded. You see rural hospitals closing. And now these hospitals need resources more than ever, um, especially in a place like the Delta where we have such high rates of, you know, Teenage pregnancy, um, diabetes, diabetes, uh, infant mortality. People in the Delta understand tough times and have been trying to crawl out of them since the Great Depression. Their greatest invention was the blues, created from hardship, sung from the soul with friends and neighbors. The future here is uncertain, as it always is. Along the Mississippi River, Robert Ray, TRT World.